organization. Not can you. you give us a chance? Your organization. You're, you're attacking our news organization. Your organization. Can you give us a chance Let's to ask? A, can you, I'm not going to give you a can question. You can you stay categorical? You are fake news. This is a CNN breaking news alert. Newly leaked audio shows Donald Trump and Billy Bush making lewd comments about women on an Access Hollywood bus in 2005. Here to address this breaking scandal is Donald Trump himself. Are you not entertained? Mr. Trump, this leaked audio showed you saying, um, you know, I can't, I can't quite say it on live television, um, but basically... Grab them by the pussy. <laughs> I would like to take this time to formally apologize. What? What are you saying? I deeply apologize. Are you trying to say apologize? No, I would never do that. What I am doing is apologizing to all the people who are offended by my statements, but more importantly, to the people who were turned on by them. I hear it's really 50-50. Uh, okay, but Mr. Trump, why would you say these horrible things in the first place? I mean, come on, Brooke. I was trying to look cool. I mean, what normal red blooded American doesn't want to impress the Billy Bush? Also, P.S., you have to admit, it's kind of funny that the only Bush that matters in this, the general election, is Billy. That doesn't really excuse what you said. Listen, okay, this was way back in 2005. It was 11 years ago, back when I was a young, childish, 59-year-old man. Uh, okay, now, Mr. Trump, Many Republicans have stood by you through a lot of other scandals, but are now pulling their support. Um, people like Senator John McCain. Coward. Harley Furina. She's a bore. Idaho Senator Mike Crapo. More like Crapo. The only person I need is my running mate, Mike Pence. I love Mike Pence. I respect Pence. I'll always have Pence. Well, actually, today he said he can't condone your remarks, and then he canceled his campaign events. Mike Pence is a loser. I hate his guts. I call him puny Pence. All right. Now, these comments have specifically offended women. What would you say to women voters watching this right now? I would say this, okay, listen, women, if you give me a chance, I promise I can do a whole lot more than just grab it. I can also bop it, twist it, and pull it. <laughs> Brooke, I'm tired of talking about me. We need to move forward and focus on the serious issues. I'd like to send my condolences and prayers to everyone affected by Hurricane Matthew. I love the people of Florida. I love the people of Florida and I hope they stay safe. Florida, I love the people of Florida, hoping they stay safe. Wow. That that was actually a, a very nice thing to say, Mr. Trump. Um, thank you for being here. Thank you for having me. Okay, that was Republican nominee Donald Trump joining us now to discuss more. Let me tell you something. What is, what is that? I wish I was that hurricane tearing through all that hot Miami pussy. I would just destroy it, but yeah. Mr. Trump, we can still hear you. Oh. Really? Then I apologize. Okay, we now go live. 
I mean, did you believe Ted Cruz endorsed me? No, 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 no. He's a huge loser, a huge loser. You see that sad little video of him making calls with me? Talk about a pussy like a grab by the throat. Your microphone is still on. What? It is? That I have to tell Ted Cruz, in all sincerity, that I stand by that statement. You're a huge loser. I stand by that and what I said. <laughs> and also, live from New York, it's Saturday night. Well, looks like Donald Trump finally got what he wanted, a working microphone. <laughs> this is a CNN breaking news alert.